This is a wonderful, frugal, delicious, and a very fast dish to make like on a weeknight. For dinner tonight, I'm making spaghetti carbonara, and it's one of my family favorites. It's a very humble dish. You don't need a lot of ingredients. It's a great dish to make on a weeknight or to teach your kids when they go away to college and live in the dorms. Okay, as far as ingredients, you need a tablespoon of olive oil, six slices of bacon, or four ounces of pancetta, and the only difference is the bacon is smoked. You can use either one. A sweet onion minced, four cloves of garlic minced, about a fourth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. You'll need a pound of spaghetti. It's kind of nice if you can use the thicker spaghetti if you have that on hand. You'll need an egg, six egg yolks. You'll need four ounces of either Parmesan cheese or Romano cheese, or as I have in this case, a combination of the two. I have my pan heating up. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil and the bacon. We're just gonna let this bacon crisp up. The bacon is getting some color and it's rendered a lot of its fat. So now I'm gonna add the onion. I'm gonna add the salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes. Now that your onions have gotten a good head start, this would be a great time to start cooking your pasta in a large pot of boiling salted water. I have a big pot of boiling water, salted water. I'm gonna add the spaghetti. The pasta is almost done, so I'm gonna add my garlic and let this cook for about a minute. You really want to make sure that you take the time to get these onions really cooked down. They are very, very, very caramelized. The pasta is done. Before I drain it, I'm going to add a couple ladles, two or three, of the pasta water and I'm also going to reserve one cup of the pasta water. Now I'm going to go ahead and drain the spaghetti. Now we're just going to add the cooked pasta to the pan and just start mixing the pasta in with the sauce. Now simply take a fork and beat up all your egg yolks and take some of that reserved hot pasta water. We're gonna slowly add some of it to the egg yolks. We wanna temper these eggs. I've used about a half a cup of the pasta water and I'm gonna reserve the other half. Now turn the heat off and I'm slowly gonna start adding the eggs to the pan and the pasta, kind of mixing it around. And the residual heat from the pasta, it's gonna make a delicious sauce. You'll see it's gonna to start to get kind of creamy. I'm going to add that reserved pasta water. Get this mixed in there.
If you want to, you can add some extra Parmesan or, or Pecorino cheese right on top. But this is heaven on a plate. Mm -hmm.